Hello guys, welcome back to One Tire Fire, Bro Vargas as always. Um, I'm just doing a little quick update of what's uh, going on with the channel, what's going on with me, and uh, I think something it's, it's something that's, that's happened to me that where I think that I should announce and tell everybody that you know this this has happened. This is uh, it's it's a big step in uh, my career, uh, my future, and it's a flip of a coin. What could happen? So, um, there you know, I used to work at the airport. Oh, well, there it is. I used to work at the airport. I, uh, I actually quit my job. So I completely am 100% unemployed. Uh, I don't have a job or any steady income that's coming in. So um, it is, it's a rather frightening, terrifying feeling where you don't have any money at all coming in. Uh, I did have 80 hours or 81 hours of uh, vacation time, plus my vacation, I mean, uh, my, my normal paycheck. Uh, with everything I had saved up together, it's about, uh, $5,200 in my account right now, not including my tax return because the IRS can't be bothered to send my money. So if I were to get my tax return, it'd probably be about $7,300 uh, to survive for the time being and to do some, you know, you know, miscellaneous jobs here and there. I'm trying to get into real estate, uh, photography and video and uh, videography as well. Uh, so there's that thing. So I'll get some money in. Uh, as well right now, like I said, I have another gig already that's like helping another shop uh, i'm pretty sure you've seen the video or well, if you haven't check out no limit motorsports or motorworks uh, in la habra i did a video for them a while back and uh I, i'm trying to work out a deal where i can film for them and uh you know i get paid for it and uh i will actually be a full-time uh you know videographer and cinematographer for john from cuba variants you know annoying you know black guy you know being is the best you know that guy that guy i'm <laughs> filming for that guy full-time so I'll be uh, going to most of his videos and more his shoots and uh, to help him, you know, because I, like I said, I'm One Tire Fire is a YouTube channel, but more importantly, it's a production. So it's I'm producing, I'm, you know, making productions. So it's a, uh, a platform where people can use to help film their videos, events, stuff like that. It's a production. So people don't understand, you know, it's a YouTube channel about cars because I like cars, but it's also a production. So I can help and get paid to film for events and 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 meets and you know for social media and Facebook, Instagram, all that fun stuff. It's production to make money. So um, that's what it is. I, I the reason why I quit my job is just because uh, I did not feel that I was growing in a steady pace that I like to be grown at. Um, they cut my, they took away my schedule, my graveyard schedule which allowed me to go to school full time, full time for four days at, well, for my welding school. And they took that away from me because apparently my work ethic wasn't great, you know, because I like, I, 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 I like to get abused and to be overworked and not get paid, you know, that's not get paid what I think I'm worth, you know, cause you know, there's that. So I was like, you know what? Like I, I can't do this anymore. Like the amount of negativity and immaturity and not from the employees, it's just from how poorly managed everything was so I was like you know what hearing all these stories from other people telling me like you know what I can't do this anymore da, 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 da. you know all hearing all of their stories and how annoyed they were really pushed me over the edge be like you know what I'm done with this place I'm too good for this place so I quit um, no animosity towards you know some people there uh, I just I just can't stand I can't stand it I was like I'm 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 too good for this place I can't do this anymore so um, uh, I quit. Uh, you know, I, I just could not do it anymore. And like I said, they took away my graveyard schedule from me to go to school, and they cut it in half and put me on graveyard. I mean, uh, on after on the uh, afternoon shift, which only allowed me to go to school for two days out of the four. So I blew away at least like four weeks, uh, four weeks on two days. So what is that? Uh, eight, I basically, yeah. Uh, it was like eight days. Like I, I, I was missing school, and I was like, you know what? Like, this is dumb. Like I'm just. I'm working for them and I'm not going to school. Like, so what's more important? Obviously my world is cool. So I was like, nah, I'm good. Uh, so I decided, you know what? I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out. I, I, like I said, I, I have, a, you know, I'm working with the other shop, Nolan Motor Works, and I'm working with John. So it's a little bit of income coming in. I don't need a lot. I don't have a car payment anymore. I have, I have this paid off, <laughs> paid off. I don't, you know, I have the money from this 2000. I have money saved in my account already that was just sitting there. So like, it's just, I, I can I can survive a little bit. It's just, I have to budget way back now. So it's not that, it's not that bad. You know, it, you have to 
take a risk to reap a reward. You know, there's no reward, no, no risk. So I took a risk. And I think this is a risk that I think that I hope that you guys support and like understand, like, you know what, Ruro, that's the right thing to do. Because if you're not happy and you're not happy at where you're at, like, you gotta do it. You, you gotta make a change. Because, you know, it, it, it's not healthy to be, you know, to be under so much stress physically and mentally at a place that you just don't really think that you're being rewarded for. So it wasn't healthy physically and, mo and emotionally and more physically for me, you know, mentally I was fine. And, you know, I was barely there. I was there like 10% of the day, like mentally, I was barely there. Turn off my brain because all you need is 5% of your mind power, of your brain power. I was like, dude, I'm too tall to be getting under wingspans like like four or four feet off the ground. You know, I'm too tall to sit in a, a, a goddamn plane's hole putting bags, you know, that are 50, 60, 70, 400 pounds, you know, I'm done, I, I can't, I'm not gonna do this anymore. I'm, I'm not gonna push, put my body under that kind of strain. So, no, I'd rather put my body under the strain of like, look, I'm outside, it's kind of hot, you know, but I'm having fun filming stuff because I like to film. I like to make productions, I like to make videos, because it's fun, you know? I'm doing this because it's fun. Not, I'm not doing this to make money. Eventually, you know, if money does come in, that's cool, but I'm not making it to make money, I'm making it because it's fun. Um, if you're having fun, you know, money will come eventually. The cars and the channel. So, uh, the cars themselves are, are doing, they're doing fantastic. Volvo's working great. Uh, Lexus is doing fantastic. Uh, it's, you know, it's what I pay for, reliability. <laughs> um, as well, I will introduce you to a new member of the One Tire Fire Productions. Uh, pretty exciting. Uh, it'll add definitely a new dynamic, a new, you know, pretty much eye candy to the whole channel. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to overuse it. I'm not going to be, you know, somebody who overuses that effect because then it's, then, it's, then, it's, then becomes not, not much, not so much of a novelty. It'd just be like, all right, you know, I, I get it. You use that effect a lot. I'm not going to be doing that, but it will be used in the future videos and any future uh, views or uh, glamour shots or when I start traveling again, uh, it'll be, it'll be used. It'll be tagged along with me. So why don't you introduce you to the new member of the One Tire Fire production? And there it is. It is the DJI Mavic Mini 2, so say hi. <laughs> uh, I decided that this is something I need to uh, really add a new, like I said, new dynamic to my videos, a new aspect, something exciting, something to be like, you know what, damn, that's, that, that looks good. That's pretty eye candy. So, uh, you know, I went out and just look at it. It's cute. Look how, look how small it is. It's so small. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so pretty exciting. I even got, oh, 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 don't break it. I even got like little tiny ND filters, little, little tiny, I'll show you right now. Little tiny ND filters are actually adjustable. So um, just like sunglasses and it's just like the ND filter on my lens right now, this is just the same, the same, the same aspect. Just little tiny sunglasses for super bright days like today where I can, you know, adjust the brightness level and have really, really nice, crispy footage. Now, this doesn't mean that this is going to be like the all end all be all, you know, super crazy you know, tool. Again, it is a tool, but it, it's just to add, again, another different dynamic to the videos. Uh, when I start doing real estate, and when I finally do start and do a real first, my first time real estate video, uh, drones are very highly uh, regarded to add a really nice you know, perspective to a house or any sort of real estate property. Uh, people, realtors love to be able to have like moving shots of uh, their property, acres, house, mansion, whatever, to, uh, to really show the scale of how big their property that they are selling. So uh, this is why this is here. Uh, it is to, you know, just add, like I said, another dynamic to the how the video is gonna be and to show, you know, how pretty eye candy can be because everybody likes that. Everybody likes pretty eye candy. Uh, it is also on a three axis gimbal. So super smooth footage uh, I will be showing you. And uh, it is uh, quite exciting. I was very scared at the beginning because uh, I've never really uh, driven, or flown a drone uh, this uh, complex, but, Five minutes, 10 minutes, like it's, it's not bad. Anybody can use one of these. I know Adrian, uh, Adrian Jennings uh, from uh, AMJ Photography, he bought one of these after seeing this. He's like, dude, I have to have one. And dude, it is fantastic. Especially we have these little ND filters. Like I said, there's the ND. Ooh, let's see if it comes focus. 
focus, focus, little, little, little NDs that are actually adjustable. So, pretty, pretty exciting. Focus on my face, okay, cool. Um, so yeah, this, like I said, nice, crispy footage. And uh, why don't we turn this on instead of talking about it and I get super excited. So I'm doing some uh, quick little calibrations to make sure that your compass on the, on the drone itself is perfect. Uh, you just hit the tap, uh, you tap the take off button and you, uh, you hold it and uh, in theory, uh, there it goes. <laughs> so, as you can see here, it's right above me. <laughs> and if we were to aim the camera down, you see me. Look, <laughs> it's me. So, quite easy. Left stick is you move the whole drone uh, left or right. Uh, your right stick is you're, uh, you're basically strafing. And uh, yeah, so this is quite a new, uh, exciting proposition for the channel. And uh, this is how high it can go. Uh, really, really nice, you can see. Now this is of course in 4K 24 frames a second. You know, the cinematography, uh, you know, the basic, you know, cinema frame rate. Uh, a lot of them use 24 frames a second. So again, this is again in 4K and 24 frames a second. Uh, and I'm recording to an external SD card on the drone itself. So you can uh, you know, record all this fancy, nice little frame rate. Uh, if you do not have an SD card into the drone, uh, I think you only do 720 or 1080 uh, and records directly to your phone, which I thought was pretty cool. But uh, yeah, look, this is like, this is it. Like, like it's so crystal smooth, like, like, and super clear. Again, there's me. Oh, look at I am. Oh, look at me. <laughs> Again, now, what makes these things a little bit quite controversial is the fact that you can't fly near airports. Now, that's a given. That's fair. That's fine, right? But, you know, it could be very, very picky as to where it could fly and where it wants to fly. Uh, if it does not like where you're going to be taking off from, uh, it will it will completely ignore you and not fly. So uh, that's uh, something you got you to gotta understand. Uh, see, look at that. Look, there's me over there. <laughs> Quite cool. And it's, uh, it's a little far away. Uh, and I think it could handle actually like 25 mile an hour winds. So it's pretty, uh, pretty intense. <laughs> oh, there it is. I can see it. Again, I am in, uh, sorry, I'm in a disgusting parking lot, but this is where I'm at. <laughs> Look at that. This is me flying super smooth and super nice. Make it a nice and, you know, cinematic. Tell me how you, tell me what it, tell me what it looks like. Like, do you like it? Like, are you excited about this new aspect? Or this new, like, type of, you know, video production? I'm pretty, I'm actually pretty excited about it. Let's see, let's go back down a little bit. I'm still quite learning a bit. Let's see, like left left stick is like altitude and 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 and, and uh, turning the whole drone, which is a little bit confusing, but you get kind of get used to it. Raise up a little bit more. And of course, this is in cine mode or actually normal mode. Uh, cine is quite slow, and uh, I think cine is like a, I think it goes like maybe 14 miles an hour. And uh, I think, if I remember correctly, I should have really researched this before, but uh, I think if it, in sport it goes about 29 or 30, or I mean 35, I'm not sure, but I should know that, but uh, I don't. Um, yeah, but if we put it into sport mode, um, your battery completely obliterates itself and uh, doesn't last very long, but if we were to go and uh, put in sport, which we are now, and go full, full, full speed, uh, this is how fast it goes. Look at that. Now that's pretty cool. So yeah, this is, uh, tell me what you like. Does it, does it look cool? Are you excited that this is going to be a new part of the channel? Um, I'm actually really excited about it. <laughs> I 
So, yeah, tell me what it looks like, because look, that's me. <laughs> and Try to land this nicely. Get out of the way for you. All right. And of course, on the remote itself, you just tap the land button and you hold it and you pray to whichever god you you pray to that it does not crash and uh, it likes to land you. Uh, it does not like the landing. <laughs> so let's, uh, let me move you guys over. So on any suitable, any suitable ground, it will take the landing. So you just, uh, am I in the video? Oh yeah, there, look, there it is, cool. All right, uh, again, any suitable ground. Make sure there's no leaves, grass, and other stuff like that. If you do buy one of these, uh, treat it with the utmost respect because uh, they're, not that ex they're not that expensive. Oh look, I'm, I'm low battery. Um, they're not that expensive, but uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's yours, you know, treat it with respect. Um, so, you do land one more time. I know, I know, I know. You're gonna go to sleep, don't worry. And just like that, you can see, it's, it's landing. I don't know if you can see it. So there it is, right there, landing. And it slowly just comes to a nice, simple landing. Just like that. <clears throat> now, if you're wondering how I, uh, I'm able to see, if anything, on this drone, is the fact that you can use your phone. Your phone is what lets you, you know, see what the camera sees, and I thought that's an, actually an, an amazing aspect. Uh, having a big ass screen on that on that remote, uh, it would be kind of no, kind of annoying. Um, but because my uh, brand new Samsung S21 Ultra 5G that I just bought, <laughs> now that I'm unemployed, I got to pay this off now somehow. Um, because my screen here can do 4K, you know, 1440, I think, or something like that. Uh, the screen has a really nice, uh, you know, aspect ratio and really nice resolution to it, so I can see really really as pretty much as clear as what the drone sees so having a nice phone like this with a really nice resolution really nice screen lets you be able to see you know, pretty much exactly what the drone is seeing so you can pretty much see what you're watching on the drone with your phone which gives it a nice you know nice less less equipment to to, to you know to burden you carrying all this equipment it's, it'll be quite annoying so uh, that is so that, that that's it so thank you for watching appreciate it and uh, you know like I said let me let me let me vlog this bitch on a tripod. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. <laughs> um, let me just fix it. All right. So again, let me know. Are you are you excited? I know you know. I'm, again, just a small update. Nothing super crazy. Nothing like oh my god, this is the best video in the world. But just a small update that like, this is uh, this is this is happening. Like I quit, so <laughs> I have no job. And uh, you know, as much as. You know, as much as I would like to say it, you know, I, I wish, you know, I kind of had some extra money, you know, to, you know, survive and not have to worry, you know. I just, I, I kind of, I couldn't stand the fact that I, you know, they don't let me go to school. So, like, what the hell? Like, so dumb. Um, uh, this one itself is quite brand new. Uh, quite a new model, at least. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Like, I bought it because I thought I would like a need. I, I thought I like a need. I thought, um, that having that will really push me to really, like I said, add a different dynamic to the videos. Um, like I said, like if, if for, instance, for example, like if it's only me and John and we need to do rolling shots, you know, we can have, you know, two people and we can do a rolling shots with like me flying the drone because John can't fly it, um, he doesn't know how, and uh, John driving the car and like doing rolling shots of like the car that we're taking a video of, which is like, like, like it lets you, if you don't have a third person, um, you can do that, and I would rather, much I'd rather have a third person to, to help me and do the rolling shots. But if if push comes to shove, like you have an opportunity, we have an option, because versatility is what gets you, like get like moves you up in the world. If you're versatile and you can like think on your feet and have a, a like an option to, to 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 make something happen, you need to be versatile. If you're not, you're, you kind of get left behind, and you're not that super professional. Again, I'm not super professional, but I'm trying to push myself to become super professional so let me know how how excited you are about having these things because like i said these will be part of the video although you can see this you can see the three axes moving that's pretty cool um i know i'll turn you off i know i know i know yeah let me know like i said leave a comment leave a comment leave a like you know subscribe if you haven't and you know it, i know i don't ask and begs for subscribers but now that i'm kind of unemployed and in any sort of income like if i'm getting some money from from youtube it, it, it helps so please if you haven't if you haven't uh, subscribed and you know, help me out, like please help the poor, because <laughs> I am 
I'm not poor, but I'm definitely not in a situation where I'm getting income now. So uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks uh, for you know supporting and and uh, listening to me talk about nonsense. Uh, talk about stuff that is super not exciting. <laughs> but I think the drone is what we're going to make it really exciting. Uh, it, it, like I said, look out for the drone footage. Like I said, I won't be using it every single time. I won't be like, oh my God, like let's use this drone, let's use this drone, let's use this drone. No, um, having like specific tools for um, you know different you know, objectives uh, makes it convenient. But I won't be overusing it. Uh, I don't want to be one of those those productions or one of those uh, you know uh, directors or producers that overuse an effect like fucking what like Army of the Dead, like Zack Snyder. Are you retarded with your bokeh? What's wrong with you? Um, making everything blurry, um, but yeah, I won't be using over, over overusing an effect. So uh, I will be using it, but sparingly. But it will be a couple seconds, you know, 10, 50 seconds of the effect. And I, after that, you know, it's about it's about the details, and uh, that's why I, you know, I'm rushing when I use my Ronin. I'm rushing when I use my, you know, my stabilized equipment. Just not the drone all the time. This is just it's a it's a toy, but it's also a tool, uh, a tool to make my productions that much better so again thanks for watching thanks for listening to me about nothing about nothing um I'm, i hope that you enjoy the drone and enjoy the drone footage that will come uh, next you know uh it will be used on john's channel as well and uh yeah thanks for watching appreciate it uh, leave a comment subscribe uh leave a like uh and uh please 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 if you can like if you haven't please subscribe because uh trying to become uh, monetarily independent <laughs> again. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. I'm scared. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Bye. Say bye to the drone. Say bye to the drone. Bye. Miss you. Bye. Focus.